Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. We have Boxy Lux today. So this is the seasonal or quarterly Boxy Charm box. It costs a little bit more. I think it's about $50. Um, it's every season and it's a little different than the other Boxy Charms because you get like one or two lifestyle items, I believe. But I don't know why I'm explaining Boxy Charm to you guys. I'm sure a lot of you know, but just in case, I will link Boxy Charm down below if you're interested in subscribing. I do pay for this one myself. You know, I thought I canceled Boxy Charm a few months ago to save money, and I think I just tried to log in with the wrong email. I was like, oh, my account's not there anymore. Like, just wasn't thinking, but I'm really actually happy that I didn't because I really like some of the items in here and I've used two of them. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. Uh, but before we get uh, into the box, hi, welcome back or welcome if you are new here. My name is Kitty. I love subscription boxes. I open them every single day here at 5 p.m. Eastern time. So if you love them too, and you love unboxings, I hope you consider subscribing before you go. I do a monthly giveaway where I choose one of my subscribers and send them a bag full of stuff as a big thank you and a way to give back so this is what it looks like when I open it I did not customize anything in this box uh, but normally I believe you get to customize two items from Lux someone please correct me if I'm wrong and okay, so I kind of like it they didn't choose some random theme it's just as the spring box and if this is a Variation number C2203402. <laughs> I don't know. But you guys, I was really excited and I used it on my eyes. I haven't been using much eyeshadow lately, but I, and I haven't even like really wanted to open new eyeshadow palettes I've gotten, but I love Natasha Denona palettes and I love mini palettes because it's so easy to come up with looks and I couldn't help myself and I was so excited that I even got Natasha Denona in my box because I didn't customize it. This is the Natasha Denona Cupid eyeshadow palette and this is what it looks like. So I used it today. I haven't used shimmer on my eyelids in a while. It's not like a drastic look or anything, but I used the middle three shades here. Here, let me open it. So I decided, I don't have any lights on, hopefully the natural light's um, okay, you guys, but is it not focusing because my head? Focus. There we go. So yeah, I used the three middle shades, and I love it. I figured I would. Um, but I was about to say, I decided every time I take in a new item from my box, instead of like give it away to you guys or sell it or something, I only sell items I get from like boxes I pay for like this one, but um, I'm going to sell or give away another item. So I can keep it. So I, I don't care. I, I was like, I was feeling guilty earlier. I'm like, why do I feel guilty? I pay for these boxes. I get them. I, I just really enjoy them, sharing them with you guys. But I love getting Natasha Denona. I know it's like super overpriced, forty eight dollars for these five pan. But I really like the formula, and it really excites me. Uh, and yeah, awesome. And the next item I tried earlier today, I don't have it on now, uh, is the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss. <laughs> and it's in the shade Rosy Outlook. So it's pretty much clear, um, but it's like a plumper, but without that like tingleness. And I've been really into positive affirmations lately. And I just started seeing a new one today that said I have plump, luscious, like healthy like lips <laughs> um and then this i got in the box today and i was like okay this is a sign i need to use this because it's been like what does it say like clinically proven to plump your lips or something when it's like clinically proven i'm like oh are there studies let me read them but anyways a clinically proven lip plumping treatment and ultra shiny gloss with immediate and long-term plumping softening and hydrating benefits in a universally flattering sheer baby pink shade uh yeah so it's like, I don't even know if you can see it. I'll swatch it on my hand, but so it's pretty much like clear there, but there's like a teeny tint, but I really liked it. It's really great for when you're not wearing like lipstick and stuff. It's, it's kind of sticky, but I, I did not notice my hair getting stuck in it at all. Like it's, I don't know why I'm rubbing it into my hands now. It's like all over me, but uh, yeah, I'm really happy to have this. And I took it as a sign from the universe that it's going to help me have the, the luscious plump lips I desire. <laughs> Why did I just rub it all over my hand? It's like a thick lotion, it feels like. Uh, should I wipe them on something? Oh, tissues right here. Thank you. Yeah, it doesn't really matter, whatever. Uh, next up, we have <laughs> by Frank Body. It's called Perky, the Sculpting Body Hydrator. And I laugh because there's a little butt there. And I think that's really cute. 
<gasps> so deeply hydrating helps to reduce the appearance of cellulite through moisture and massage. Oh, should I start saying, I have a perky hydrated butt. So that'll be part of my thing. Oh, it really looks like a little coffee. Oh my God, yes. And there's a butt on that. Can you see it? Why is that just like so cute to me? Oh my God, this is so cute. I love it. Look, it's his butt. Okay, now a 13 year old in me. Uh, so it's bought. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but let's move on. So we have another item that has caffeine in it, but this is for our under eyes. Well, it does it have caffeine or I just make that up? I don't know, but it says darkening dark, brightening dark circle eye cream by Ren Skincare. Does it have caffeine? Did I just totally make that up? It has elderberry. I've been working with dried elderberry plant. Um, I don't know if it has caffeine, but I just saw eye cream. I, I have no idea where that came from, to be honest. I just said that. Let's see. Um, either way, this is supposed to reduce dark circles. Your skin is even, hydrated, and radiant for bright, firm, and fresh-looking eyes. I need to know now. Is there? I'm not. I think I made it up. There's elderberry flower extract, glycogen, and hyaluronic acid. And it is vegan. And next, we have by Stay Calm Soothing Sheet Masks. Uh, there's four of them. There's aloe. Uh, soothe and soften your skin in a flash with our Stay Calm Soothing Sheet Masks. So it has aloe, chamomile, licorice root, and it leaves your skin feeling hydrated, soft, and visibly smoother in just one use. <gasps> Plushes lump, uh, lumps. I, I'm a camitar. I'm like trying to say my affirmations now out loud. It only worked for the lips, I guess, but I am going to use this. I want to start doing more masks. And this I'm really excited about. I just said the other day, I'm like, I need some just like sprays because my skin looks a little dehydrated even though I drink so much water. Like I'm thirsty just saying that. Um, but this one's super cool. It's by Complex Culture, a brand I like. Ipsy owns this brand. I guess not a box term. I don't know. Whatever. But filter out daily blue light defense mist. So I think that, yes, yeah, it's clinically proven to protect. I don't know. But it's supposed to hydrate your skin. Also um, diminishes the harmful effect of blue light exposure on your skin. So... You just use it like any other facial mist, and let's see what it looks like. I've never tried any skincare from them. I love their makeup brushes, and I love their makeup. And their packaging is always something about it. It's like mature and like sleek and like fancy kind of. Well, let's try it. Um, am I supposed to shake it? I don't know. Oh, the mist is wonderful. I was like, I should have probably tried it out before in my head when I was like pressing it down. Is there a light scent? I can't really tell, but the mist is very fine. I really should turn the light on. I'm sorry, guys. It's really bright outside right next to me. But anyways, I don't think you could see any droplets or anything like that. I can kind of feel it. Maybe I sprayed too much, but the, it's a really fine light mist, and I love that. And I know we all are looking at our screens all the time. Even if it helps just a little bit, I'll take it. And then by Juice Beauty, the Organic Solution, um, do they always have that after their name? Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Retinol Overnight Serum. Nice. I need to start using retinol again. I've been pretty basic, especially lately, because I like, started breaking out, but I think it's from diet. I was like trying to figure out what has been causing my breakouts, because I'm like, my skincare has been pretty simple. You know, I haven't tried too many new things. And then I started randomly singing that song, like, oh, sugar, do, 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 you know that one? I'm not going to sing it. Um, I don't know if I could monetize, but also my voice is awful. And I was like, oh, my God, is it because I've been eating more sugar? I think so. But anyways, the last item in here is by Dry Bar, Liquid Glass Miracle Soothing Sealant. Last through three washes. Wait, what? That's so cool. So it shields your, it has heat activated technology that wraps an invisible shield around each hair strand to provide frizz resistance. So you use this and you can wash your hair and it still has some effect. You use it on damp hair. But you have to blow dry or use some sort of heat source. I never do. But actually I did like once recently I used a hair, like one of the, it's not a flat iron, like one of the things, like curling iron kind of thing, but not a wand. <laughs> I was like, wow, I can't even think of the word I really use it, but I don't even know if I brushed my hair today. But I'm, I'll try it out. I like this brand dry bar. So that was everything though, you guys, in my boxy logs. 
My favorite items are the two I've tried, but I'm excited to try everything, honestly. Um, Natasha Denona, I will always be excited to get. I don't know, I know it's like the name or whatever, but I just really like it. And I love smaller palettes that you just like, you grab this when you know what look you're going for. Like, that's just how I am these days. That's why I gravitate towards instead of bigger palettes. Um, and I really liked this the one time I've used it and I'm excited to use it more. And yeah, I think overall it was good. And I would say this is mostly beauty. Like, is there any lifestyle with this little butt, thing, this cute thing? I don't know. Am I, what if I got like demonetized or something like butt so many times? But, but, um, oh, and uh, this I'm really excited about too. Yeah, overall, I think I definitely got my money's worth. Like, I paid like for the amount of this palette and then there's all the other things. So let me know what you thought of the box and if you get Box Deluxe, what you got in yours. I can't wait to hear from you. And again, ooh, <laughs> my camera um and again if you haven't yet subscribed i hope you consider doing so before you go and that means i will see you in the next video anyways guys stay safe stay healthy i love you so much and i will see you tomorrow bye